What's up and good morning guys, welcome back to another video. Today is a pretty beautiful morning over here at Rhino Ranch. As you can see, the weather has finally cleared up, the rain is gone, and, and I actually did do some filming out here while it was raining, um, and we got some track stuff going on and all that, so we'll fill you in on all that probably in the next video. But for now, I wanted to give you guys kind of some updates over here at the ranch, because I know a lot of you have been asking, first of all, the water tank is done. You can see it back over there. We'll walk over there in a second. For those of you wondering about our baby peacock, well, our baby is not so much a baby anymore. What's up, big guy? You are a big peacock now, huh? You enjoying the big cage? Well, I got some bad news for you. We got to get all this water off your cage. We're going to try to not get you wet, but you might get a little bit wet. So as you can see, the baby peacock is absolutely thriving. Let's see if we can successfully get this water off the cage here. There's so much more water than it looked like. We got Big Walt over here scratching his face up on the old uh, wire spool. What's up, Big Walt? You doing good, buddy? You doing good? Yeah? We got the goats hanging out in here. What's up, goats? How you doing on this fine morning, Bubbles? You good, buddy? Then, of course, we got everybody's favorite, Willie. How you doing this morning, Willie? All right, you keep cleaning up all those leaves, Willie. Keep everything clean over here. So this is the backside of the tank. We wanted to keep the backside nice and clean and simple, while the front side was kind of going to be the uh, focal point. And you can see, um, unfortunately, these trees still were like making drops of water and like a little sap mixture coming down onto the tank. So when Noah painted it, it actually, the paint kind of stuck. We opted to actually leave it though, because I think it kind of gives it a cool look that would be very hard to mimic if you wanted to. Then you come around to the front side, you can see the beautiful sunset, ocean, mountains, big tree, the Rhino Ranch. Noah did a killer job out here, and I think this definitely brought the nice pop of color to the landscape that we need until we get our full landscape plan into action. Now, it's been a while since we've had a day full and a video full of just truck stuff. So for those of you that missed that, hopefully you enjoyed today's video. But we are on our way right now to pick up a new lift kit. Then we got to head over to Sergio, show some new cool lighting stuff going on. And we got a few other things planned. Looks like we got perfect timing. The semi truck is here. We're going to see if we can back up to his lift gate here and just uh, roll it right into the truck. Oh, sketchy. Don't damage my truck. Nice and gentle like, nice and gentle. Again, it doesn't get better timing than that. Thank you to UPS for dropping it straight into the truck. I'm very excited to get back to the warehouse and tear into that package to see what we got. Now we made it back to the shop and to give you guys a little K20 update from our good buddy Dedek doing his K20 Duramax swap. As you can see, uh, last night we were over here. Dedek got the intercooler and the radiator mounted up and adapted, I mean, don't worry, that clamp is not permanent. And then he ended up getting the fenders on and everything just to kind of check fitment, make sure we got enough clearance and enough room. And well, looks like there's plenty of room in these big old engine bays. So far, things are going good. There's actually going to be some really cool parts showing up um, in the next couple of days for that thing. So we'll make sure to show you guys that. And since we're on the topic of cool parts, let's head over to Sergio's here for a second and show you guys some cool stuff going on over there. Sergio, we got all the guys. Oh, you're hiding? Dude, I can't even see you through that freaking tent. Good Lord. How do these guys drive with it so dark? Oh, there's Sergio. Hi, Sergio. Yeah. Sergio, you got a long sleeve shirt too? No polo? Yeah, why? Oh, man. There's a jacket. I feel like I haven't been here in so long. Everybody, make sure you go follow Justin at MrClean66 on Instagram. Of course, is always looking great with the work for decal on the back window there. So I don't think we actually showed this on the channel. Um, Justin's running full HSP stuff all up underneath the hood of his truck here. I love this color. This is the same color, the, um, I believe it's Akbar Teal that we are doing for all of the stuff that's gonna go under the hood of the crew cab OBS. This color is super sick. You can see all the sparkle and the flake in it. But Justin's taking this truck up to another level here and he had custom headlights, custom tail lights, custom fog lights, and he's doing something that we haven't really dealt with much, um, replacing all of the door handles on this truck with the door handles with the LED strip in them, which came factory on uh, the Escalades, I think the later 2017 and up. I could be wrong about that. Don't, don't quote me on the year, maybe 2016 and up. He actually had them made and custom painted. You can see them over here already installed on the truck. Everything was color matched to the truck and then they have these little strips right here. And this is actually the way that I prefer them because I don't like when you can actually see the LED strip in the daytime, like there's a little black strip right there on the, the door handles. It kind of looks, I don't know, goofy to me. So if you can hide them like that, I think that is definitely the way to go. And that's really the reason I haven't done them on my truck is because I've never seen them hidden like I just saw right now. Sergio, what's involved in wiring those up? Are they going to be switchbacks or? So what is it going to be tied into the turn signals? Turn signals and running lights. All right. So we'll have white and then turn signal will make it flash in amber. Cool little feature on that. And then here you guys can see the factory headlights off of this body style of GM truck. And he went ahead and had these headlights built. Yo, these are like next level fancy, Sergio. I don't even know what's going on with these headlights. 
So apparently these OLED boards have their own like drivers and controllers. The the profile pivot do not bypass size specific, Sergio. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it, it sends all the data information through here. Gotcha. Yeah. All the LEDs. And then where's the Bluetooth controller? That one oh yeah, so then there's a, also a Bluetooth control. Good, Jeez, this is a lot of wires for some headlights. Maybe we only need one. Really? Yeah. Oh, you don't even use all these? No, just for another stuff, I don't know. Gotcha. This is like a general one, like you can control several lights with it, but you only need it for a couple ones. Okay. This is why you take stuff like this to Sergio, let him figure all this out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it took me a while to figure it out. This is way beyond the scope of even my headlights on my Denali, like they were not this complicated. It's kind of weird how they have the carbon fiber plate coming out like that. I hate it because it's not flat where you can screw it into. Right. We're assuming these have the demon eyes where the little uh, projector lens there lights up with a backlit color. That's yeah. why you have the Bluetooth controller, you can change everything. Exactly. But then it's also got a little feature here, a little safety feature. It's optional, but it's good to have it because you can have a low beam and also your lights on, the color lights on at the same time. It doesn't look good. Um, so that's why you have this like killing switch. Uh, you connect this one to the low beam signal and when it gets in, it will turn off automatically the color lights. Gotcha. So hopefully Justin will be here later today and he can explain like what came from the factory on those headlights that he's got and then what um, the builder did. And these were actually built by Crisp Custom. I've never dealt with them. I'm honestly never heard of them, but I know they did Brian's light as well on his truck. We've got one more door handle to go over here. There you go. You can see the factory door handle versus the one with the LED strips in it. Again, ghosting them in like that, it looks so much better. Then if you look on like Amazon or Google or anything like that, you'll see them where the strip is actually black and it stands out way too much. So you got to drill a hole to get the little clip and connector through. Yep, everything else is the same. Nice. So Sergio's already gone ahead and pre-wired everything coming to each door. So I'm assuming one of these is power ground and then whatever's going to do the switching for the switchback. You need me to break down these instructions for you yes, or do you got it? I don't understand the diagram. is all complicated. Okay. This is my kind of diagram, Sergio. <laughs> this makes sense. Let's see you do it then. You want me to do it? <laughs> yeah. Listen, Sergio, you're getting paid here, not me, all right? <laughs> I only do... Uh... I thought you wanted me to hire you. So well, yeah, but you haven't hired me yet. I don't work test? for free. Oh, this is my <laughs> test? I think I've passed enough tests. I make G-Wagon custom parts for G-Wagons for you. Ah, uh, yeah, sure. All right, let's see what we got. We'll do a little test here. I'm really curious to see these lights. I haven't seen this style. We got our mad scientist, Sergio. Yeah. Thanks. All right, we got the bottom one, Sergio. You want both? Oh, well, on. yeah, I want both, man. <laughs> you pay for both, you want to see both. Exactly. Well, there we go, Sergio. We're looking good now, buddy. Woo! All right, make a flash. One of them? <laughs> One. Oh, that's actually pretty slick. Yeah, it's cool. So what I like about these OLED bars, first like the old school way of doing it where it's just a bunch of dots hidden behind the lens, is you don't see all those dots. It's a smooth transition across that whole bar there. Those look really cool. Yeah, yeah actually I, I like that too. Where you don't see all the dots of LEDs. Yeah. When the LEDs first came in with the first generation, right. I hated to have, see all those different dots for the LEDs. Yeah, those are going to look real nice. Alright, I want them to alternate. Top, bottom, top, bottom. You got that? Yeah, we can do that. Oh, by hand? <laughs> just by hand. <laughs> so you're just going to sit under the hood and do it by I hand. hand. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we need to see if we can commandeer a forklift to get this lift kit out of the truck. I believe it's four or five hundred pounds. Let me do the official weight test. Alright, maybe it's not four or five hundred pounds. Or I'm just super, super strong. Alright, we've commandeered a forklift. Today just got easier. That'll work. Thank you, brother. Makes life easier having good neighbors over here at the warehouse. Now, before we crack into that pallet, um, we're running on a little bit of a time crunch right now. So we're gonna load all of the tires and wheels here that we got from our buddies over at Four Wheel Parts into my truck. And hopefully the shop has time to get these mounted right now. Be a little easier if I didn't have a giant pile of KX65 parts to in the way here. I can't wait to see these things all mounted up together. They're gonna look super sick. Today, I am thankful for 
a long bed. All right, we have arrived at our friend's Courtney Tire, and of course, they are super busy as always. Hopefully, they got time to squeeze me in. These guys are absolutely swamped with work over here. If any of you guys are local, make sure you guys stop by Courtney Tire. Dan and his family run and own this place, and as you can see, all these cars are here because they are very trusted in the community. And all these are like quick turnarounds. This isn't stuff that's been sitting here overnight like a lot of auto shops. We dropped the wheels and the tires off. They were nice enough to squeeze me in today with no appointment, so we're just gonna leave them here and we're gonna come back before they close. So while we wait for Courtney Tire to get those tires mounted and balanced, we're gonna finally crack open the uh, pallet over there. This is a company that I have personally worked with in the past, but I've never dealt with one of their lift kits on one of my vehicles. But we have a great working relationship and it is about time we get one of their lifts installed. And the company we're talking about is of course our good buddies over at McGoy's. They don't mess around with their packaging. Oh, all right. That's a staple to the finger. It's gonna take two hands. Let's see what's in box number one. Very heavy spindles here. Let's see what's in box number two. We've got some bushings. Um, I'm not really sure what's in there. Looks like some little cotter pins and stuff. And I believe, oh, oh, oh. look at these bad boys got some upper control arms with the face plates on them. Now I'm gonna try to not open like every everything out of this box just because I don't wanna lose any parts. Now let's get to these big boxes. I don't really know what's in them. Let's see what we got in here. Obviously these two boxes are gonna be the same. Looks like we got a skid plate here. We do not wanna scratch this up. Speaking of skid plates, I have a BBR skid plate that I needed to install on my CRF-110. I probably should have done that before going out to the ranch, but oh well. And Chris's bike is still here at the warehouse. Hopefully, uh, I think this weekend, he's gonna end up taking that out to the ranch. We'll go have some fun, build some more jumps. Oh, this one's a little bit heavier. Rear cross member here. Just gotta give a huge shout out to McGoy's for the awesome packaging job here. Nothing's beat up, powder coat's all perfect, nothing's all dean. I'm assuming this is our front cross member. Got the McGoy's face plates on there as well as all the matching hardware. Now I believe these are the impact bars or compression struts that go on the front. Looks like we got the upgraded ones instead of the actual round tubing. It's like the 46th time I've dropped my sunglasses today. All right, let's go to the last box here. In the final box, we've got all of the rest of the bracketry, tie rod ends, more hardware, some brackets. And in all honesty, I really don't feel like pulling that out to get to the bottom of whatever is left in there. But I'm assuming we got the rear coils, the front coils, all that stuff down inside that box. Now, that being said, I'm not gonna reveal yet what that is going on as well as the tires and wheels that we're about to go pick up from uh, our friends over at Courtney's, but you guys are pretty smart. So I want you guys to guess what you think that McGoy's lift kit is going on. I'll give you a little hint. It is a seven to nine inch lift kit. I don't know if that helps you or doesn't help you at all, but leave down in the comment section what vehicle you think that's going on. And I'll tell you what, whoever the first person is that guesses it, we're gonna send you guys one of our 3%er workforce shirts. Being that our e-commerce hosting platform deems that our 3%er shirts are uh, inappropriate to sell. So for those of you guys that have been looking for them, um, they have been taken off the website, not by us. We forcefully, they were forcefully removed makes absolutely no sense to us, but but again, the first person to comment correctly what vehicle that lift kit is going on, I will reach out, contact you, see what shirt size you want and where you want it shipped, and we will get that rolling. You ready, buddy? Yeah, let's go. No new 65s today? No new 65s, I'm looking, but I think I bought them all. Well, Dedek's in the market for a 110, right? Yeah, 110. Good, back in that four-stroke life. I can jump the 110, no problem, and 65 is a lot of power. I gotta work up to the two-stroke. So, we just got a call from our buddies over at Courtney Tire. The tires and wheels are ready. How they turn out? Came out pretty good. Uh, you know what? Ooh. I'm leaving the caps off. Okay. Because when you put them on the car, are we putting them on? You're gonna put them on. We're gonna put them on. Um, you have to take them off anyways because it'll scratch the little. Uh, got you. Got so you. So I just left them off for you. Dude, those look rad. Those actually look sweet. All the actual tire. Yeah. Came out good. Heck yeah. Sweet. Just lean them more. We'll just lean two and two so they don't rub on each other. Man, these wheels and tires turned out absolutely sick. Super stoked. If you guys have not checked out the four wheel parts tires or all the four wheel parts wheel line that they released, make sure you guys check them out. Oh jeez. All right, what do we got going on here? Not two stroke, that's Wes. Apparently Wes and Black Dolly are racing over here. What's up boss man? Are y'all are y'all illegal street racing out here? <laughs> yeah, on the yeah. little pit bikes. So, hey, he got, so he had me do a rolling and he got to 50. Yeah, that little pit bike goes 50 yeah. miles an hour, bro. He's What's up, dude? Yeah. What's up, man? Oh, and we got Chris here. Yeah. We got the whole crew here. Yeah. I thought we were. I thought we were gonna have the first video without a pit bike in it in a long time. Had to bring the beast out. Oh Jesus! I seen you win the race against Dahlia. 
Oh, yeah, right. He let off in, like, second gear. We're, stay nice. we're staying late tonight? Late night, Sergio? Yeah, hopefully not. Oh. I was waiting for this. Oh, okay. Give us a little rundown, because I didn't really know who they were from. We bought them from Chris Customs, same guy Bri has his taillights from. So he built them completely. So he bought the spider. He bought the... There's kids out there. You got to watch yeah. out for them kids. He bought the spider lights. So this is obviously for this side. Um, so these are white running lights, the demonized multicolor changing. So the housing is spider. Everything on the inside is from Morimoto. Gotcha. The, these are Morimoto as well. Oh yeah, so I didn't even show these earlier. So these are Morimoto direct replacements, right? Yep, direct replacements. The only thing he did to him was paint them. That was it. Like I didn't want it to pop so right. he could like walk by and like, why is there it's a clear strip in this guy's door handle? So he like painted over it real thin so that way it blends in easier. Give a little subtle hint, so. Yeah, dude. No, they so look, look nice, because now, you know, I'm the only one with this. There you go. All right, yeah. it's first test of doors. Ooh. God damn, Those are bright, yeah. dude. All right. Those are a lot brighter than I expected, especially because he lightly painted it, right? Those are really bright. Oh, wait. Yeah. Those look clean, dude. Okay. Those look clean. It's only 52 clips back there, Sergio, to make sure you connect all the wires and don't miss anything. Yeah, we'll see. I don't know which one's to which. What if that's the top one? Uh -oh. I'll do the same thing. Is it all through the app? Yeah. Yeah? Let's see. Off. For now. <laughs> oh, now, now red. Oh, now red. It's off now. Oh, all right. Those are for sale, Wes. You want to buy some wheels and tires, dude? I do need some for the snow, man. I want I want to narrow my, my truck a little bit. So to be more than that? Sergio having to be a surgeon over here. Lord, I don't know why they make... Why headlights are so difficult on newer vehicles? I don't understand. At least you don't have to pull the bumper like the newer, newer truck. These are plastic on, Sergio. We gotta leave it on. Leave it on. Forever. Like Forever. Hold on, pull this headlight off. I gotta tug it back. <laughs> Dang, that's a good look right there, boys. Not fair, can't see. I mean, you could get out. <laughs> uh, I have a, I'm in reverse. <laughs> don't, don't wanna run Wes over? <laughs> I don't wanna run Wes over. Wes, you alive, buddy? Yeah, but he's gonna have to get uh, new housings because uh -oh. the, the bulbs are too long for these housings. Gotcha. So they won't fit. All right, Justin's truck is all done. We're finally gonna get to see all the lights out here in the dark fired up. Christian got him a nice magnet on the back. Hold on, we should censor it. We'll censor it, there you go. Now don't mind that he doesn't have the LEDs on the uh, reverse lights yet. Those are coming soon. Tomorrow's a big day. We're gonna start tearing apart the vehicle that this is gonna be going on. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. If you're not subscribed already, please click the subscribe button now that you do not miss out on any future content. Don't forget to give this video a like, a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out workforapparel.com because if there's anything you want in this life, you gotta be willing to work for it. You guys are the best. I'm out. Damn. Uh. Yeah.